ain't a one motherfucking thing you can say to me about being on Dolph album and being on Goddamn. album. Ain't nothing you can say to me about working with Gucci and G. Ain't no way in hell I done did 40 songs with Chris Brown. I ain't on one album. Address a nigga straight up, man. Usher, you got a problem with this nigga. Take y'all goddamn crew to jump this. Put me up. Go and do a versus then. And let me run my hits versus your hits. You not fucking with me. Whoever want it. Here we go. Yeah. Y'all already know what it's going down to get, man. It's Fat Nasty Podcast. That's right. I'm one half of the Belly Gang Boys. Let me put my belly on your butt, you heard? And we're in full effect tonight. Before you do anything, go like, subscribe, comment, repost, tell a friend, tell, tell a, friend. a friend. Say some bad stuff. Say some good stuff, man. And click we got, that bell, man. Hit, do, what, do what? Tap that bell. Hit man. that bell, man. Look, man, we got one of the biggest, man. One of, yeah, the, one biggest, of the biggest, man, from man. the Memphis to, to the A, man. That's first, right. first nigga going to the Memphis Grizzly yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, man, come on, man, youngest nigga with them floor season tickets, yeah, man. Tell him again on that wood, nigga. Y'all yeah. hey, niggas man. ain't spending fifty five a year, nigga. Fuck you, talking Talk about, about man. for <laughs> eight years straight, nigga. You tell him Zebo was down there in the paint. Yeah, man, man Zebo, Marcus, all man. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Mike Conley, man. My yeah. big dog Tony Allen, nigga. Yeah, you talking about Tony Allen, my boy, man. He was there, Hey, man, we got drummer boy himself, man. What the hey, hell going yeah, on, man? Yeah, boy, what's happening? Yeah, man, yeah. what you got going on? I heard you just spent a lot of shit. You said you still working, man. Working. We on the clock right now, man. You know what I'm saying? We got Dave's Loaf in the studio. Shout mm -hmm. out to my cousins. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Her new group, my cousins, 313 from Detroit, okay. revving at D. You know what, okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Hold That's it down, hard. man. We going crazy, man. Zay Global. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Big Trill, the mm -hmm. whole ZTP label. You know what I'm saying? We got them putting in some hits. That's you know what's, what's up, saying? what's up? Say so told him, call, man, you know, I got to come pull up and put some hits on the board for you, my nigga. That's, that's hard. Yeah. You get that call, man. Ain't yeah, nothing like that, on, is it, man. man? New label, that's my guy, man. I've been rocking with Zay Tobin for a long time, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. hard. That's yeah. hard. That's hard. So, man, how you been, man? What's been good with you, man? Oh, I've been blessed, man. Blessed. We got singles out, man. We got the new Do It Again. Go check out the new video. Uh, Kevin Gates, you know what okay. I'm saying? We just did one uh, for uh, K. Michelle, you know what I'm okay. saying, called God New. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? So that's on the way. Stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Her album coming, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, we working, man. We a little bit everywhere. Lil Papa, we just did one with Lil yeah. Papa. We just did one with uh, Mike Smith from okay. the 305. Shout out to M.I.A., yo. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, the right. Heat might take it home tonight. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's hard. That's we hard, working. man. So man, look, man, we kick we kick the podcast always action, man. Are you petty, man? You got any pettiness with you? You petty, man? Man, shit, I'm from Memphis, man. Nigga, I always got some petty <laughs> shit. Nigga. I always, I always feel petty about some it's nigga, right. or some you bitch, get, or something. You feel? You get a nigga back, man. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wrong, get a nigga man. with success, man. Kill a nigga with kindness, man. Yeah, fuck say it again, man. man. They you got it. it. You can have that, nigga. Yeah. But watch this though. Huh? Yeah, fuck you, man. You ran off with a hundred dollars, nigga. I just made one point five, man. Fuck you talking about? Oh fuck man, talk, man. You know that's what what how you pop. You that broke shit. a window for nothing, nigga. Yeah. My nigga just got broken into. He got his car busted. It. They ain't take shit. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I had just gave him like two hundred thousand. Yeah. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Just new signee, new producer on drum squad. Shout out to my nigga Cash. Oh mm -hmm. man, you still awesome. working, yeah, man? Yeah. yeah. How you feel about hold Memphis on, right now? Memphis going, going stupid. Crazy. Yeah, man. Hey, they talking about that forty million that my nigga uh, John Morant lost. Uh, we don't give a fuck about that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My nigga still took home a hundred ninety yeah. guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Michael Jordan. About? Michael Jordan made like 93, 97 million his whole NBA yeah, career. Right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. John just took home a hundred ninety. Y'all tripping off forty million? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, right. fuck that. He'll, right. get that. he'll get that get back. That back. That's five yeah. years. One hundred ninety right. guaranteed. Like, yeah. bro. We getting MLB contracts, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah for real. You know that basketball money different. Up. That for basketball money different. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's real. They that's love real. him out there too in Memphis. Huh? Hell yeah. Come on, man, holding it down, man. Yeah. R.I.P. Dylan Brooks, man. You know what I'm saying? We praying for nah, you. Nah, man, damn, man. Dylan, they're <laughs> supposed to keep. They're you. supposed to keep DB, man. He was nah, the type of nigga on the team. Nah, you need, listen, you need some tough nah, niggas on the team. I don't give a fuck about that. Listen, niggas offered him three different contracts during the season. He turned them down. When oh, niggas yeah, be on that man. high horse, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And we offered you three different contracts. You turned them down. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Now you trying to re-up your contract. Nigga, you turned down three contracts. That's yeah. what nigga. Nigga tried to come at you three different times, yeah. nigga, to keep you on the team. Because yeah, right. we really fuck with you. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he been around for a little bit. Yeah, right. But, right. But the bitch is ready to get rid of him. So you know what happens when, you know. Yeah, it's <laughs> over. It's over. They don't want you no more. The females ain't fucking with you, man. Yeah, go back right. where you, we'll, we'll, go to Utah. <laughs>
Utah. That's probably yeah. where you fit. Fuck yeah, Utah. go to Utah. Utah. I, he I, might, I he might end up with, with Phoenix. I think Dylan Brooks will do better in Phoenix because that boy, uh, number two, what's his name? Oki. Yeah. Oki, Woody, Woody, Woody. Man, Dylan Brooks will take his place all day. He See, Dylan, I shit. like Dylan. Dylan, he got that little fire. Ain't nothing wrong with that fire, man. You need that That's fire and desire. Like, Keep it. He be yeah. feeling like he the man. He got to be like, I like that. that Draymond, saying, guys, I like that Draymond Green fire. Like Me yeah. too. That's what I'm saying. You got Dylan that Brooks, idea. he just talked, but yeah, he ain't putting up the saying. numbers and like And Draymond, like Draymond know how to take his position, his place. Like With that fire, I'm just going to fuel y'all, but I know how to take the back seat and still fuel y'all. Right. Yeah. Dylan be feeling like, nah, fuck that. Give me the rock. He be shooting 10 shots in a row. Like, bro, what is you doing, bro? Right. Like. That's hard. Mm. So I gotta ask you, man, what's your mental state from a one to ten, man? How you yeah. feel? Like can't use seven either. I'm on, I'm on twenty. You on mm-hmm. twenty, man? Elaborate. Yeah, man. I'm elaborate. really always on one hundred. Like I ain't, I ain't never not one hundred. Right. You know what I'm saying? I lost my brother. I might have been knocked off. You know what I'm saying? I lost Gangsta Boo. I might have been mm. knocked off. Young Dolph. I might have been knocked off. But I come right. back with the music, man. Yeah. Right. I put my emotion into the music, man, and I'm coming. I'm gonna kill you with that motherfucking beat. Mm. Right, 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 you know right. right. I beat the streets, man. Drama boy, we in here. Beat the streets, right? Yeah. Man, but you that's like you know what I'm saying, you lost three you know, that's that's big, so it's big. Snooty yeah. Wild is four. We can keep going, but I ain't gonna right. you know, R. I. P. Sending my condolences to you and your family, man. You know what I'm saying? R. I. P. to anybody who lost somebody, man. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You no, know, today ain't tomorrow ain't, ain't promise. Right, right. Tonight right. ain't promise. promise. Right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nigga mm-hmm. crash out and on the way back. Like anything. Like, man, right. this shit ain't promise, man. So yeah. you gotta get E4 hundred percent. Every time, man, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We live on the motherfucking fat, fat nasty man. goddamn yeah. podcast, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck sure. you mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, he over there with Mayweather, TMT. Shout out to Mayweather, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody fuck with me, man. Yeah. I'm real humble. I pay my homage, man. It's crazy, man. I remember like when we first found out, my cousin was doing clothes and shit for you. He had yeah. did some jackets for you. Yeah, that was my yeah. brother Mike, Mike. Kick Factor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He did the Memphis yeah, Grizzly yeah, joint. Yeah, yeah, he painted yeah, yeah. some trucks. I spent some money with Mike. Yeah. I spent some money with T Exclusive. Yeah. I spent money with goddamn uh, Chilio. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All, yeah. The yeah. all the exclusive yeah. shit, man. He yeah. had a one in one. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. On, that's what that was. Exclusive shit, so. Man, you black, you own, you own your shit, and you you doing what you do. I'm supporting that shit. That's yeah. hard. That's yeah. Right yeah. Up. Yeah, I, I remember that. I'm like, yeah, cuz. Like, yeah, man, drummer want another one. You you, call, you got a cover piece from I'm like, yeah. man, that's hard. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. fuck with your movement, and, that's, and you're a man of your word. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with new people that's coming Absolutely. up and shit. That's hard, man. That's hard. So who's somebody that you want to do some music with that you ain't did nothing with, man? Oh, uh, Beyonce. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? John Legend. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. Oh, uh, J. Cole, hmm. you know, the greats, man. I'm, yeah. a, I'm one of the greats, so I got to work with the right. other greats. That would be hard. You know, that'll that'll be hard. I stay Beyonce pulling niggas out the mud. With that's that what Beyonce. I do. Beyonce, John Legend, that's a different bag. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. I can only yeah. imagine a beat for drum on I fuck with Koi LeRae. Oh, OK. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. New new up and comers, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I fuck with Koi LeRae, her mm -hmm. whole movement. Yeah. Um, It's Brea. She going crazy. I fuck with her, you know what I'm saying? And then, man, listen, man. Dej Loaf got a group called My Cousins, man. These girls is crazy. They got the energy. They got the fucking hood trap shit on lock. What? We doing a whole album, man. Shout out to ZTP. Shout out to Big Trill. The whole goddamn label, man. Bro, hey, hot. Hey. So they coming soon. And they, they out of Detroit, you said? Out of Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, my cousins, a whole okay. Project on them, yeah. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. So you ain't bullshitting, man. You just no, you, we man, not bullshitting, man. We do gym. it again, man. Shout out to Kevin Gates. We got the new single, new video just dropped. Go check that right. out. Do it again. I I do it again. Got, do man. it again. Heard, yeah, Gates. I heard you say you got some shit with Baby too. Oh yeah, come on, man. We did that. You did. You know what I'm saying? You uh, did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That was. Uh, come on. You know I'm the. Fucking original producer of the You Dig with Jeezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And shit, we had to bring it back with Baby. Okay. Mm. Okay. What what um, programming shit you use? Like starting off as a producer, like, yo, you know, it's a lot of new shit out here now. So when you first start off, when you say you got that 2500, what you was using? MPC 2000. MPC, okay. No. You still you know use it? Oh, yeah. 2000 oh, okay. XL, I still got my 4000. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then we still, MPC, I just bought the new uh, keyboard, Zaytoven, man. Yeah, exactly. Show me that motherfucking uh, Akai, you know what I'm saying? New oh, keyboard, oh, yeah, and I was keyboard, like, I gotta okay. get this motherfucker. Like, that yeah, keyboard that's crazy. Hard. Yeah. That's you know hard. what I'm saying? So I got that. And then, you know, I'm still on my NPC shit. I'm on FL Gang. You know what mm. I mean? I learned anything. I, anything that got sounds in it, nigga, I'm gonna twerk this shit. I'm gonna fucking go crazy. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? crazy with that shit. Deliver the vibe. That's dope. Love or lo 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 loyalty or love, man? Which one would you rather have, man? Whew. I'd rather have loyalty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers can love you for a minute and then they hate you next minute. Right. You know what I'm saying? That love and hate go back and forth. It's like an unbalanced fucking, you know what I'm saying? You can't control that shit. Right, but right, that loyalty, right. that shit gonna go forever. If a nigga loyal, that shit gonna last forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I take loyalty over love for real. Like, yeah, right, I don't right. need no love for no nigga. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I don't give a fuck about no. I don't need no love for no bitch. Yeah. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't. I don't need love, to be honest with you, because I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do anyway. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know my purpose. I'm here for a reason to show love. So I could, mm -hmm. I could show love, and you give me hate just like Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no love for no nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And my, but my, for my disciples, I need my lords. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right, That's right, it. Right, 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 right. Straight up. Yeah, and look. keep the team strong with that. That loyalty keep everything afloat. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get the job done with my loyalty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And right. then y'all will show me love when I'm dead and gone, like I, like as usual. I don't right, give right, a fuck. Right. Once you realize what I done done, what I done done for these niggas, right. what I done put on the table, you know what I'm saying? Right. What, what I done put the points run. on the board, yeah. right. like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no nigga fucking with me. That's why no nigga want no verses. That's why none of these niggas step the fuck <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. That's why none of these niggas really want to put me on that platform because they know, like, I'm going to take that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the next fucking Russell Simmons. But Def Jam, bruh started that shit with one artist, LL Cool J. These mm. niggas don't want to give me that platform. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm independent. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Mm. Period. Yeah, independent, huh? Period. Mm. Put me up, go and do a versus then, and let me run my hits versus your hits. You not fucking with me. Whoever want it, 
Here we go. Oh, we got to put that's a fat ass exclusive, man. Do you think anybody, he said, anybody, man, go run the verses so yeah, nobody ain't fucking with drums. Nobody want it. When you want it, let's go and do it, nigga. Pull the table together. We can do this shit on Drink Champs. We can do this shit on Versus. We can do this shit on VH1. We can do this shit on Netflix. We can do this shit wherever you want it. You not fucking with me. I don't give a fuck who you is. Mm. Mm. Come on. He said, yeah, 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 boy. boy. That boy, drum boy said, he got something for you. Anybody want some of this shit, come get it, man. Yeah, I do it again. Uh. And again and again. <laughs> right. And again and again. And we taking niggas out the mud. Right. You know what I'm saying? First swing king. First song I did with Rocco, I'ma do me. First song I I'm did with Walker, no hands. First song I did with two chains. I ride around, I'm getting it. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. First man. song I did, goddamn, with fucking Yo Gotti. When you see me, shawty pop you collar, then you holler, that's what's up. Yeah. You oh, <laughs> Every day. Yeah, hit. pop your collar, my nigga. Like, Every first song hit. I did on August I seen the nigga, no love. Featuring mm, Nicki Minaj. Nah. You know what I'm saying? First swing king, my nigga, you not fucking with me. That boy's gonna call me the first swing king. That's all. Yeah, straight up. Rick Ross, yeah. here I am. Here I am. That's Ooh, you. I got a lot of dollars and I spend them on Here I am. <laughs> like, hey, yo, hey, damn, yo, you better stop yo, playing, yo, man. Yo bitch know about me. Hey, yeah. hey drum, no, man, no, no, yo stop. woman. There you go. Your your wife. Wife. Oh, okay. your, your lady, your, lady. your girl, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, your what? loved one, yes, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, you up. like, you like, you like, what's your name? You tucked away, man. You got some shit in that arsenal, man. First song on Gucci, man. It's a photo shoot, girl. It's, it's a, a photo, photo shoot. shoot. You know what I'm saying? Then we come back with I think I love her. Oh, yeah, then we come back with a uh, a rich ass nigga with a mouth full of gold. Oh. Rich ass nigga with a mouth full of gold. Come on, hey. man. Hey, so man. if it was anybody who you felt like, yo, because you, you can't nobody just come and be like, all right, I'm about to just put a drum against this person. Who would respectfully, who would you think, like, oh, put me. This who would you want to do versus with? Yeah, who would you want to? Put me in there with Zaytoven, man. That my nigga. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And we're going to have fun. Like, this is my brother for real. Right, but anybody but else? That's the closest nigga in my generation who even, like, coming close to, like, even, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can yeah. do it, man. Like, Jazzy, what you want to do? Yeah. Juicy J, what you want to do? Man? Ooh. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't matter up. who you, hey, listen, man. Yeah, shit, you 20. pick them. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to have fun. It's going to be a big ass history lesson for your head, though. Yeah. <laughs> I like that With type of shit. Yeah. 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 Straight up. He said, that boy just said, so what's your, what was your favorite drink you did with um, Jeezy? Uh, lose my mind. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? 1245. About that time. time. Come on, man. Listen, man. Yeah. Come on, man. This is what we do. We yeah. have fun. We, you know. Just deliver for my niggas. When they call me, I deliver. Right. What was one of your, what was one of your most memorable sessions? Like you was in there and you was like, damn, you just cooking up in Plies. Mm. What's in my pocket, dog? Big, Big face, honey. honey. <laughs> oh yeah, boy, you do got some shit. Hey, hey boy, you got some shit. Hey, 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 Mm -hmm. I'll pay for your studio time. I don't need no label. I don't need Atlantic. I don't need Interscope. I don't need woo 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 woo. I pay for it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Come over here, fuck with me. I got the I got a studio on the condo. Yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. Whatever. And we get that work done. You know what I'm saying? Two chain come through, pull up, man. Be tipsy or drunk or don't want to make it to the south side, man. We did a whole true religion tape right at the spot. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just call a boo. I don't know a whole mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. Keep it on the low, man. Mm -hmm. All I eat is low, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, man. Come on, man. Hey, man. So how big are you on relationships, like friendships and shit, man? That's number one. I ain't mm -hmm. on none of these niggas' albums because uh, of, you know, management or A&R. Mm -hmm. I'm on these niggas' albums because I know these niggas. Because yeah. I come through for these niggas. Because right. I done done favors for Sweet. these niggas. Because, mm -hmm. man, bro, 2 Chain was dropping his whole project. I wasn't even on that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And he had to realize, like, damn, drum, he ain't even on this motherfucker. I need to get some beats from you, bro. I got the, you know what I'm saying? Right. I closed shit out, nigga. I wasn't even on the project. We get we did uh uh the jump with, uh. Damn, what's the name of that motherfucking song with uh, Gotti and Jeezy? Slanging Birds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I come wow. through, do Slanging Birds. Then I come through, do Boo. Then I come through, do I'm riding around, I'm getting it. I wasn't even on the project. Then mm -hmm. I come through, do I walk in, then I turn up 
And then I turn up. I wasn't even on the project, bro. I come through, do four. Mm. Recession. I wasn't even on the album, my nigga. Yeah. Jesus say, bro, I need, I need to, man, pull up. Bro, I come through, do Hustlers Ambition. Mm. Then my I got damn do. Hustler, then yeah. I do Amazing. Bitch, you amazing. amazing. Look, Look at them blazing. Hey, Eyes so low, brother. Like shit, so hey, damn blazing. Hey, then yeah. I got them do I damn. put on for well, my, my city. Uh, yeah, on, that's what on that's for my city. The, uh, Come on, man. Yeah. I wasn't even on the album. I knock niggas off the album. That's why a lot of these niggas don't like me, bro. Damn. Cause I didn't, I, I didn't block niggas blessings just like Jordan. Goddamn, stop niggas from getting their rings. The rings. <laughs> if I want call you, might, huh? Yeah, you might as well, nigga. This the Jordan year, twenty twenty three. This is the Jordan year, man. Yeah, it's nigga, a good I'm year. sorry, Yo, nigga. Your hey. verses is crazy. Yeah, you got some shit now. You got some shit now. These niggas better hush. They don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Shut the fuck up now. Uh huh. Got some shit. Uh huh. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, Damn. you know what I'm saying? It's time, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Listen, nah, this is a shit. Yeah, behind the hits, the book on the way, the documentary on the way. We finna wake these niggas up. And I got fucking 10 hits in the hole. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got yeah. 10 hits in the hole. I ain't even got to, man, listen, man. So First song I did with NBA out? Young Boy, we popping. Platinum. Mm. We popping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, listen, man. Damn, you got, uh, yeah. you feel like with your sound, and what you do and produce, who who be like, yo, when you know you, you be like, oh, this, this why I work with the best, did they sound match my shit? Is it the Migos. The Migos. Mm. And I, it, man, I prayed it, man, R.I.P. motherfucking take, 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 take out, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my nigga, Quavo, my nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, like, it's, it's, it's just unfortunate because you will never have that again. Yeah. First song I did for them boy was Look at My Dad. Mm. Mm. Look at my dad. Look at my man. We had the whole world doing this shit. Your grandmama did this shit. Your your granddaughter did this shit. Yeah. From the grandbabies to the grandmamas and everybody in between, nigga. Like we had the whole world fucking dancing, bro. And that's, that's you. A fact. That's, that's me. A, that's a fact. And and it's crazy because it's like that shit went worldwide. Like like you said, everybody. The Migos was on the biggest group, man. Shit, for, yeah, yeah, to be a real. part of that, that got to feel like damn. Nah, you, I ain't go like, boy, you just gave niggas a history of you, bro. And a lot of that shit, bro, that shit stand for something because, bro, you got to look at it, bro. You a part of a lot of niggas' big hits. Nah, facts. Yeah, I, like, I know that. Like, my first song I did for Rocco, you just do you. I'm going to do, do me. me. Yeah. Come on. Then we came back with Tomorrow. 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 Then, then Rocco said, man, shit, go and do my whole album. Damn, all that shit is you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I bet just got you the history books, like, man. You know what I'm saying? Know Niggas gotta shit. wake up when they fucking with drama boy, bro. I done been slept on for too long, so man, you can keep sleeping. But it's all good, man. Nigga finna rock a bye baby your ass, man. Well, yeah, but your versus is gonna be yeah. Yeah. if you want it, if it's ever gonna be a versus, man. Timberland and Swiss don't want to get that. Man, we can do that shit. I they don't want me to get that big. They don't want me to be. I had to earn that shit. I had to take my shit. I have to talk this shit. Woo woo woo. We still waiting on drink champs. What's up, Nori? Oh, you know what I'm saying. What's up, DJ F and E? Oh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We waiting. I'm sitting patiently waiting on these nigga. Man, listen, man. Man, listen, man. They don't got to though. Yeah, we they brought got you the fat man. I got my own podcast. Yeah. Shout out to Dime P. Shout out to Beauty and the Beats yeah. podcast. We got our own podcast. What made you jump into that? Shit. What made you start jumping into? The we had to man. Just information man. We interviewed Angie Stone. I interviewed uh, oh, Chucky shit. Thompson. You know right. what I'm saying? R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? That man did the whole Mary J. Blige uh, album. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Look up Chucky Thompson, man. Vet, we interviewed Jonte Austin. We interviewed motherfucking. Yeah, like the, a lot of people slept on Austin. They ain't know he was like that. Jonte. Yeah, like yeah. come on, man. He, 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 he showed Neo yeah, wanted. Yeah, Neo wanted. He showed okay. you. He, and he I love my boy. Neo, my drink, nigga. Like, he was drinking Duce all night. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 My boy was drinking straight Duce all night. Hey, for real, had hit. Come on, man. Hey, niggas ain't know he was like that neither. He, Neo yeah. had a damn to go in that bag. Man, shout out to Noon Time, man. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Henry Nooney. You know what I'm saying? Henry Lee. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, uh, Squeak. My manners have been holding it down. Chris Hicks gave me my first publishing deal with Warner Chapel. Jonte Austin, Donnie Brasco, mm. motherfucking uh, Polo the Don. Oh, Polo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, man, Where just the hell so many. Polo been at, man? Jazzy Faith from the M. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know what I'm the saying? M, so, the M ain't bullshitting, though. The M is definitely yeah. not bullshitting, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Memphis got a lot of work, like, yo, with just music itself, a lot of talent. Like, it's a lot uh, yeah, we of... We got my boy Kia like Shine that. on here, man. Kia, oh, yeah. Kia, yeah, 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 Kia yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, and then with y'all giving us the history, like, a lot of niggas don't know a lot of shit Kia Shine did, you know what I'm saying? That shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, we Memphis niggas, man, so we move different. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? And we come from a conglomerate that, that you know, my... my my mentor was Isaac Hayes, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, that's one of the only niggas who could even give Quincy Jones a run for his money. Money, right. Yeah. On the production side, side. not the artist side. side. Quincy, right. like, like, Isaac Hayes is a producer? Yeah. Right. Man, man, come on, man. That man had production. Yeah. Right. That nigga had orchestras. You know what right. I'm saying? That nigga right. was on some Barry White. Barry White, another one who had that symphony, had them strings. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's only certain <laughs> certain producers who could really tap into that. My dad was in the orchestra, University of Memphis. I mean, uh, Memphis Symphony Orchestra, and he taught clarinet at the University of Memphis. Oh damn! For forty That's years like plus, she came from yeah. for with you. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's it's it's. I come from a different area. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on Beethoven and Mozart and right. Sibelius and Bach and right. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So I know theory. I'm a right. musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be Zay Tobin. You and Zay Tobin, the only niggas that got that, y'all got that music shit like that. That shit go yeah, deep. Come on, man. That shit go deep. Both parents is into the music. Or? Absolutely. My mom was in the opera and in the church choir, and she was goddamn the number one hustler in Memphis. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking with logistics and you right. know what I'm saying, warehousing and different shit like that with the diamond companies and with NASCAR and AV Clevite and you know what I mean. Yeah. So she made sure she was able to provide for me. Right. Yeah. And my brother. Yeah. R.I.P. Insane Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Y'all too? Y'all That's it. That's okay. it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What brought you to A? What made you come to Atlanta, man? What made like My what? uncle brought me out to this motherfucker. I've been coming out to Atlanta since 97. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The nigga took me to Riverdale Skating Rink. Nigga, I've been getting on hoes ever since. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that boy is over there on the south side, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nigga, I think I did. Ooh. I yeah. got me a little something out here. I'm coming out here every motherfucker all the month. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shit, yeah. 97, 98, 99, right. 99 2000. Woo, woo, woo. And just seeing, you know, the music opportunities. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Every time I come out here, Jazz would be like, man, come to the club. Yeah. I wasn't even old enough to get in the club. he get me in. And I just be looking. And yeah. I'm enjoying myself, but I can't spend no money. I'm broke as hell. Yeah. I got about $20, $40, $100 in my pocket. So it was a lot of just motivation, just like, man, okay, I'm gonna get on y'all niggas' levels, but I still seen a lot of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It got exposed to a lot of shit and still got a lot of right. relationships out of that right. shit. You know what I'm saying? Bumped so Jazzy Faye was like one of the first dudes that, that you got introduced oh, yeah, to? Oh yeah, in Insane Way, my brother introduced me to Jazzy. I got down first place I came when I came to Atlanta outside the skating rink was noontime. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's how I met my manager, Squeak. Wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just being in the building, bam, being able to see the songwriting abilities of Jonte Austin and J Dub and wow. you know what I'm saying, fucking uh Donnie Scants and Polo the Don and you know what I'm saying, just All everything right there. Jazzy right. was doing. Everybody nigga, them niggas was knocking out albums, albums right, right in one fucking building. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that shit was motivation and it was still like me being a fly on the wall, I got a lot of game, I got a lot of you know, knowledge right. on how so and how to. Right. You know what I'm saying? And just ran with that shit, my nigga. That's hard. Mm -hmm. Now run down your iron run down a couple of R and B joints you done did that we don't know about. Man, Jagged Edge, the remedy. Uh I did Stranger for Usher. They got me my first Grammy on Raymond mm. versus Raymond. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was on the Versus album at first. You know what I'm saying? And then it elevated to the the Raymond versus Raymond Deluxe album, which got you know, two mm -hmm. awards for Grammys. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I got my first two Grammys off with, with Usher. Uh, I did the August Alcina, No Love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did Legacy, Rock With You, written by Jonte Austin. You know what I'm saying? Legacy, Big Ups. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I did Right Here for Coopole. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I did uh, Waiting Still for Music Soul Child. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I produced that with my boy Jerry Wonder. Jerry <laughs> Wonder, bass player for the Fugees. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Legendary producer and Grammy Award winner. You know what I mean? That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, man, you know, all of these cats is like 10, 15 plus over me. Right. Man. You know what I mean? So for them to have a respect for a young nigga like me, you know I'm with the shit. I'm, 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 I'm really about that. 
Right, right, right. Musically. Yeah. Right. So that's hard. That's hard. And we got many more, man. I just did God New for K. Michelle, new album coming mm-hmm. up. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Cause so, Michelle, still the problem, or I am the problem. Mm-hmm. I forget the album title. I think it's uh, I am the problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? But shit, that's She a that's, Memphis native too, right? Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So, man, Keisha Cole, I did one for her. I forgot the name of that joint. But uh, we re- redid Keisha. one of the uh, Tupac joints. On the eleven eleven album, so you could just look up eleven eleven eleven. Oh. Keisha Cole. Uh, I did one of them Tupac joints. I had remade one of them Tupac Damn, joints. Wow. I forget the name of. It. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Keisha Cole. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit, bro. Nah, no, nah. No, I, I can't even. Is it that um? Keep up with it. Damn, what's that shit? Um, ride or something like that. Um, I don't know if it was ride. I thought I was about. I was about to say the play of cards, right? Shit, because it was the Tupac on what's the name? Yeah, I don't remember which one it was. Damn, that's hard though. That. That's a lot of shit right there, man. Hell yeah, yeah. So man, what's your um, what's your what's your value on money, man? How you look at like you know what I'm saying? With the, the pros and cons about money, like you know what I'm saying? Because I always think money break up a lot of friendships, man. That money shit is is my money, my currency come from my brain. My money, see, my currency come from my tongue. Right. My money, my currency come from my spirit. Anytime I needed money, nigga, I just cook beats. Right. I print my money. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no white man or no white men or none of those, man, the Jacksons and the, the actual cash is cool, but my money come from here. Right. My value is in my spirit. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I can go to any country and get their currency from the country. Right. Because they fuck with me as a person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they it, everything come with the exchange. What do you have to offer? as a person, as a human being, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's deeper than how much money you got in the bank. If your bank crashed today, you fuck. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If everybody bank crashed right now, then how much money you got in the bank? You got 200,000, you got 300,000, you got a million. I got fucking 200, whatever. That shit might crash. Mm-hmm. What you gonna do Right. as a person? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People still gonna fuck with you? Right. You still gonna be able to make your moves? Like, nigga, I can go anywhere. Right. Yeah, I got cash money, but I'm not depending on no dead white men, nigga. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I spend that shit. Woo, woo. I invest that shit. You know what I'm saying? I go get something to eat. Yo, know, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But man, bro, I can go kill something to eat. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I right. know how to fish. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know how to goddamn plant, farm, and agriculture. And woo, I can man, listen, plant my own tomatoes. I got. Grapes and peaches and motherfucking bananas and mm. all kind of shit growing. Mm, right. You, sure. yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got farms, my nigga. Right. Like, so this shit deeper than currency. Right. Yeah. The dollar's getting weaker. My spirit getting stronger, nigga. Right. So what you saying? Right. Yeah. Give a fuck about no dollar, American dollar. Yeah. I give no fuck. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because my spirit That's getting richer. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My good. power getting, you know what I mean? And that's why we come on platforms like this, man, to spread the word and, and, and let people know, like, man, start you a farm, bro. Get you some land. Get you some ownership. Mm. I know niggas who ride Bentleys, nigga, who renting apartments. How the fuck you parking up, parking up Bentley in an apartment, apartment, nigga? Yeah, that's right. a fact. I seen it. Niggas is tripping, nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas not throwing away shit. money. The money you do got, you not even utilizing it right. Right. Yeah. You got a hell of a lot of money, but you ain't got no credit. I'm using other people's money. I didn't turn motherfucking two hundred thousand into three, four million just off of other people money. Just right. off the bank money. Right. Yeah. I'ma turn the white man money into my profit. That's hard. Mm-hmm. That's real Straight shit. up. So real that's shit. what we own. Yeah. Real shit. That's what's going on too. So man, if you had to go rock a country out, which one would it be, man? Like, Africa. No question. Africa. We got houses in Ghana. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got property on the beach. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't need this this first time ever even popping this type of shit. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't, you know what I mean? Nah, I don't be that's moving what you're supposed different. to do. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? We got, man. <laughs> yeah, we on island. Yeah, 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 yeah. But a nigga do that, man. Yeah, yeah, that shit yeah, everywhere, yeah, man. When a nigga yeah, go play yeah, with his Hummels and Barbados yeah, right. and Curacao. So you'll go over there and rock out, you'll rock out Africa, huh? We rocking out now. Rock it out. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> right now. He said, yeah. Yeah, yeah I can see you out there too, boy. So this shit, you know what I'm saying? Going like, dumb over there. Some shit go crazy in the United States, man. I'm over here with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can go to London. I can go to Africa. I can go to some islands. 
You know what I mean? And I got them, I'm good in Switzerland. Right. I'm yeah. good in Sweden. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Quincy Jones, man. I went to Quincy Jones one time. I went to his house in LA. He invited me to his house. Man, say, hold on, man. This shit about to get deep. Man, you say you went to Quincy Jones? I yeah, man. I won an award 2007 for Shouty. T Pain Plies, first song I did for Plies, T Pain. Oh, you did that? That was. Oh, yeah, Shouty. First song again, First Swing King. You know what I'm saying? And bam, I got a call. I, I actually introduced myself to Quincy. He was at a Steve Rifkin party. Mm -hmm. And he was in line or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He was he was about to walk in that motherfucker. I ain't going to say he was in line, but he was about to walk in that motherfucker. And I was like, Quincy, hey, drummer boy. And he stopped, turned around. Young man, come in with me. And I walk in that bitch with Quincy, nigga. And he introduced me to some of the top producers from Sweden, from Switzerland, all these different places. It was like four top producers. Yeah. And he was like, I want five producers, and I was one of the five. Mm. And I go through his, he had this long spiral staircase in his house. So anybody who'd have been in Quincy Jones' house in L.A., like, Lord, you got you five me. levels of floors. <laughs> like, you going through this good. long. You could have took the elevator but, but, or you got a stairwell, but right. it's a long spiral stairwell. And we down there drinking Hennessy and toasting up and bigging up and everybody and whatnot. And he was just giving us game, bro. And that that moment, I knew it, this shit was meant for me. Yeah. That's and hard. this was my yeah. first year in L.A. And I've been living in L.A. ever since. And I still got a crib in L.A. I got a crib in Memphis. I got a crib in Atlanta. Man, we're buying properties. I got a condo here in Atlanta. Like, I just. Do what I want to do. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but that Quincy Jones shit is yeah, dope. Because, bro, bro, do y'all niggas know, man, I don't think niggas be getting, niggas don't be know, man, Quincy touched Michael Jackson and all these folks, man. He did it at 50. <laughs> he presented himself to, to Michael like, hey, you should let me do your album. Mm. And for Michael to listen to him. So you got to work with artists that listen to you. If you don't really listen or really take heed, right. ain't nothing I can do. Ain't nothing I can do. Right. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we try to, you know, Chris Brown, my nigga, man, boo, man, let us let us help you. Usher, listen. Mm. Ain't no way in hell I done did 40 songs with Chris Brown. I ain't on one album. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And Chris yeah. Brown, my nigga, hood boss, I love you, my nigga. What's up? What's happening? Yeah. How the fuck I ain't on no album? And I'm that nigga. The fuck you talking about? Yeah, and about? I'm that nigga. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And exactly. Chris don't need me. Yeah. He don't. You know what I'm saying? He good. He straight. But I did in 40 life, songs, right. in life, you need a brotherhood. Mm -hmm. You need niggas that's going to keep you good and keep you on the right accord and the right spirit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you doing with Usher, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. You true. can put your hands on a woman, but you can't goddamn address a nigga straight up, man. Usher, you got a problem with this nigga. It take y'all goddamn crew to jump this nigga. Right. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's, that's some real. fuck boy shit. That's what I say, man. It's always our culture, man. You don't never I don't see give it. a fuck. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm I'm over trying to savage and I, I say salvage mm -hmm. relationships. Shit, right. At this point, it is what it is. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Fuck him, like my boy Banks. I got said. my first Grammy with Usher. Right. You know what I'm saying? So all we got Usher got down through your motherfucking birthday party, yeah. nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? That might just big up to you. Told him how much he loved you and this and that. Woo woo woo. Yeah. You calling Tiana Taylor bitches and hoes and this and that. He got them step in the middle of the shit and say, hey, he ain't got them take no sides, no nah da 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 da. He just tried to. Calm the situation down right. because it's all about love. I'm the conductor of love, my nigga. Right. Diddy ain't the only one. Diddy just commented on my fucking post. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, I got them came to Memphis and brought all my niggas together. Can't nobody do what I do. Mm. I bring us together while the rest of you niggas trying to split and pop shit in. I'm the biggest this and biggest that nigga. Michael Jackson fucking shitting on you, bro. Right. And goddamn, he was humble. Mm. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas need to tone that, that shit down, down bro. Man. You got the wrong niggas around you. Right. I wish y'all niggas would try to fucking jump me right. or put your hands on me. Thank you. You know That's what I'm saying? Real. So That's you real. need to you need to tone that shit down, bro. You know what I mean? Right. Because that ain't no brotherhood, and us as a people, we ain't gonna wear doing that fuck boy shit. 
Mm-hmm. That fuck boy shit need to be out the door, man. So we 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 calling the quits on that fuck boy shit. Yeah, it's our culture, man. I swear, man. You'll never see two rock and roll niggas hit. You'll never see two country niggas at a country awards like flop said, it out, man. shit got to call that shit a quit. Quit, like, nigga. This yeah, shit, yeah shit. like, and you man, know what I happens? Don't, I don't have to be on no nigga album, nigga. I don't give a fuck about being on that. Man, I start a whole new R and B nigga. <laughs> I come out with a whole new. You know what I'm saying? Right. Straight the fuck up, bro. Y'all niggas is old. So how that work with them songs? Like, y'all make them songs. Do y'all still get to keep songs just we can't release? Or is it like, okay, boom, Man, they have fuck a them songs, bro. I do some new shit. I'm just gotta... saying, just so regardless of where any other artist, artist you go and cook up with, they're like, damn, we did 15 songs, and then only two might get released. So it's like them other songs. Man, I did dude. 50 songs with Chris Brown, and that nigga ain't do nothing but leak my shit. Mm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You just want to leak a nigga shit, man. Ain't nobody goddamn keep finna keep pulling up on you playing beats and doing this shit just for you to leak niggas' record. Right. Yeah. Man, come on, bro. I got other shit to be doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I change niggas' lives for real. Your life can't be changed. Right. So get over it. As a producer, you got to get over it. it. You can't change everybody's life. Right. Let me you know ask you a question. Saying? You feel like producers get enough credit? Hell no. But I take my credit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't right. need a nigga to give me shit. I take mine. I earn mine. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They'll give me mine when I'm dead and gone. Right. I don't give a fuck. I don't need this shit while I'm here. Mm-hmm. I know who I am. Right. God sent me here. I'm a, I'm I'm here for a purpose. Right. I'm serving mine. So listen, at the end of the day, my spirit gonna live on forever. Y'all rest of the fuck niggas, y'all soul, y'all soul. Right. So you can't go nowhere. This your last life. Mm-hmm. So enjoy that shit while you're here, nigga, because I'm gonna be back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot yeah. of these niggas, they ain't finna be back. They gone. They fucked. They they sold their shit. Yeah. So this the last life they got. That's why they got them carrying on the way they carry on. You know what I'm saying? Right. On some real nigga shit. I ain't finna yeah. get too deep on you. Nah, but nah, that's shit. real. Yeah, nah, yeah. I always, yeah. always want to ask producers that because, you know what I'm saying, y'all do a lot of shit. Y'all damn near had a song ready for a nigga for when a nigga walk in the room. It's like, nigga here. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, all them hits you just named, a lot of niggas wouldn't know that if you ain't spit that history out. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like nigga, y'all be y'all in the back. You know what I'm saying? So I always wanted to ask you how you like. How, I always ask a producer like, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all get y'all just do? You know what I'm saying? For all the shit that y'all do for. Me. I don't give a fuck what a nigga give me. Right. Because I'm gonna take my. I don't need your word. Right. Right. I don't right. need your word. Right. I don't need your word. I don't need none of y'all niggas' credibility. Right. I know who I am. When you know who you is, you don't need shit. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I ain't never need a nigga for shit, bro. I fucking put in the work. I goddamn do what I do. I bless people. I mm-hmm. see blessings in people coming up from the mud. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? People who coming up from scratch. People who coming up from nothing. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Them the people who I like to be a part of, bro. I ain't, I'm not chasing no nigga that's already on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas bump me into these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm a fan. So I got them put in the work, but if I'm putting in all this work and you don't even realize what you're dealing with, or you don't even realize who you working with, mm-hmm. or you don't even realize the value of this shit, it's, 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 it's only a dead end street. You mm-hmm. dealing with broken souls, so it's nowhere you gonna get with this shit. Right. I don't give a fuck, you can put your best work in, you can give a motherfucker your best beat, you can give a motherfucker your best songwriters, you can give a motherfucker the best guitar, the best bass, the best drummer, the best everything, live bass, man, them folks still gonna fumble the ball, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. That's hard, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never put my hands on that woman, right. ever, in my life. I ain't never had to beat no fucking female. Right. You know what I'm saying? So for a nigga to, you done beat females, mm-hmm. you got down um, put <laughs> your hands on motherfuckers, yeah. then, then when the nigga got a problem with you or say something to you, you got to jump me, nigga. Damn. You got to hey, jump man. me. That ain't ain't hey, nothing man, real must, about hey, that shit. Hey, bro. Jeremy, man, you must ain't fucking with that, man. Usher, you must be like your real partner, man. You ain't jacking that man, shit. Man, I'm bro. not fucking with no fuck shit, yeah, bro. Right. I'm That's tired of that shit. shit. I'm sick of that shit. I'm about to turn 40, my nigga. Right. I don't got time for these fuck-ass niggas. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can miss me with that shit. You can have that shit, bro. My spirit gonna live on forever, nigga. Right. You yeah. can't kill this shit. Right. You sold your shit. <laughs> mm. So stay over there with it. That's crazy. Yeah. And not your way. 
Yeah. All right, so man, ice breaking, man. If I come ice to Memphis, breaker, if I come breaker. to Memphis, man, what strip club you gonna take me to, man? Ooh. What's the best joint y'all got in the city? In Memphis, man, it's tough. They didn't close down. <laughs> God all damn, our, I didn't close yeah. down all our. Hey, we can't go. To, we can't Memphis, go listen to it with no head. for the strip club. <laughs> God Do damn. not come to Memphis for the strip clubs. I ain't got to brag on my city about no strip clubs. When we known for music, we known for love, Ugh. we known for hate. <laughs> we long for motherfucking Bill Street, the Grizzlies, good food. Come get some barbecue in Memphis. Yeah, okay. That's what you do. What, what you barbecue come, spot? What's the barbecue man, spot? Come well, we can't rendezvous. go see no ass. You we come to get... Rendezvous, you come to A&R. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Deja Vu. I, I mean, ugh, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't nothing going to fuck with pure passion. Okay. Yeah. Pure passion, that shit with hands down the best. Barbecue. The baddest, no, the baddest bitches. Oh, that was yeah. the baddest vibes, the baddest <laughs> music, the baddest everything. Pure passion. Pure passion. I ain't nothing fucking with pure passion. That's, a, that's our spot down there. That, got. that was our spot. Oh, that right. was the spot. I ain't nothing well, fucking with like pure North, passion. North South Memphis, like you know, it's sep that shit separated, right? Like North Memphis, South Memphis. Shit yeah, like, like Memphis, that. Memphis strippers. They, you see, dime piece. Yeah, you know yeah they saying? come up here and get off. No, dime piece went to Miami. Oh, God. okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like shit, all the baddest strippers in Memphis, they went to Atlanta or they went to Memphis. Man, or Miami. There's some badass strippers here in Onyx. It's some badass strippers here in Magic City. From it's Memphis. Some bad man, from Memphis. Hey, yeah, you're turning the fuck up. You gotta go outside places, man. Biology, they went John. to Houston. Uh, Tila, they went to Houston, man. Memphis niggas, you gotta go other places. Yeah. And as soon as you get on, the whole city love you. Mm -hmm. This shit just backwards. Like you gotta I had to come to Atlanta. Woo woo woo. Man, don't get it twisted, my nigga. I was already popping coming out of Memphis right. in high school. Right. In yeah. college. You see what I'm saying? Right. With Gotti and goddamn Tila and motherfucking plenty of other shit, Gangsta Boo and all other shit I had going on. But it's like when you leave the city and get on, they respect you more. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially as much as I'm throwing up the M and, and repping my city yeah, everywhere used to be, I go. That's why I said used to be out back in Memphis in all the basketball games. So, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I was yeah. first young nigga floor season ticket. You know what I'm saying? I had. Yeah. The wood seats. Right, yeah. right. First floor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm first row, nigga, on the wood. Feeling like Jack Nicholson around this 55, month, now I'm feeling like Spike Lee. Lee okay. that <laughs> fuck, nobody, you know what I'm saying? 55,000 a year, man. What nobody doing what I'm doing, bro? Eight years in a row. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's uh -huh. over 400, 500,000. Then I had a warehouse I put another 550 in. That's 1.5 just alone, just on tickets and warehouse. Wow, dude, right. Facts. Boy, Putting on for my city. Ain't nobody doing that. All right. Yeah. So, man, what's some of your hobbies outside of making music, man? What's some of your hobbies, man? What's what you drum I draw. Do? I do a lot of art. I'm working on films. I'm a film producer, movie producer, soundtrack producer, sound score producer. I do a lot of commercials. I did Shoe Carnival first TV commercial. Shout out to Brian Barber. Okay. Because he helped me make like 800000 on like one TV commercial. God damn. You know what I'm saying? That's a good lick, ain't it, yeah, man? Yeah, I'm trying to get in the commercial business, <laughs> man. <laughs> I did like fucking four damn. Walmart commercials last week. They going crazy. Um, just the 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 the, the sick. Hell yeah, nobody want to verse you. Know, you got commercials and all that, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Said, I did Walmart we did SMS commercials. headphones commercials. We did Beats by Dre. Shout out to Des Bryant. Um, you know what I'm saying, Sherman Williams. Man, we 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 you know, it's it's just about delivering for good people, you know what I'm saying, and, and a purpose. Right, right, right. I ain't with the fucking Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Yeah, I ain't I ain't you know what I'm saying? I don't right. get nothing out of that shit, bro. Yeah. That's all. You know what I'm saying? I don't get no points from him. I I like I like I like, you know, recognition from him. him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! No points that count. I get my credibility from upstairs. Right, mm -hmm. that's real. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's a spiritual thing. You know what I mean? Bob Marley, John Legend, right? Uh, you know Isaac Hayes, Quincy Jones. Right. You know what I'm saying? These some people that you been look in your at life. Michael Jackson, man. Michael Jackson was the biggest dog. Yeah. This nigga yeah. was still sell telling you thank you. Humble. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> humble, man. You know what I'm That's humble, man. For real, this the <laughs> biggest, biggest, bro. None of you. What, 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 what we, what we say? What we always say? Nigga, Michael Jackson might be the only. 
Only nigga I ever seen make a grown man cry, man, when he performed. Man, man. Man. That's come why, on, man. That's why None of you niggas be... will ever meet Michael Jackson, bro. So get over that's it. What, and I, I say that. I Period, say it would never dog. be another mic. It would never. never, ever be another mic. It's no next thing to him. He always get mad at me no. when I say this drum. I say Beyonce the female Michael Jackson. No. Thank you. You don't like that? Not, no. There's no Michael Beyonce Jackson. Beyonce is Beyonce. Yeah. I give her that. Beyonce is amazing. She's beautiful. She's wonderful. But Beyonce is not Michael Jackson. Thank you, sir. It's no she Mike Jackson. She is Jack, not bro. the best performer it's of no all time. It's no Mike Jackson. Period. Michael I Jackson. Roll, I'm going to roll with my what's the name. That's gonna you be can't me. take that from Mike. I stand on my shit, man. I feel you. I ain't mad That's at cool. You. Yeah. That's but cool. Mike That's how you no feel. Mike. But yeah. Beyonce ain't fucking. Man, Michael Jackson running circles around Beyonce. Motherfucker running moon circles. Walking, man. <laughs> and he was a performer for real. Like, he created all that. He did. He did. I ain't take that away. Jackson 5 is running circles around Destiny's Child. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look over your shoulder, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Just you Do you hear how Michael Jackson hey, sounded at the age of 5, at the age of 7, at the age of Just 10, 12, shoulder, 14, 16, uh. 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 24. Come on, man. Yeah. You're not fucking with, with Mike. Yeah. Period. Thank you. Get over it. Heard it here first, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you know I'm still standing on my shit, man. Here first. I, I I'm glad problem. you broke it down like that. That's I'm cool, telling you this because Mike, Mike is different, son. Not and Mike like Jack, we said, you know, I seen Mike make grown straight men cry, bro. Like it ain't no, like you go to them Beyonce's and not knocking them people who play that lane. But we had real grown straight men in that bitch crying when they seen Mike, bro. That's different, bro, to touch a grown man like that, bro. <laughs> Dead in tears, like, yo, that is Michael Jackson. Stupid. That shit don't happen like that, gang. Yeah. Mike that nigga, though. You know how we get Mike that nigga. Mike and Jackson. Beyonce, Listen, that chick. Let me Beyonce, tell you the story Beyonce, about Mike. Beyonce, that chick. I ain't Beyonce. taking nothing from yeah, Beyonce. Yeah, nothing from Beyonce. But I you're not Beyonce. Michael. Stop, stop trying to compare yourself. I respect Beyonce. And see, that's Beyonce. us. Beyonce ain't never tried to compare herself. No, no, no. She ain't never said that. I just that's so we can't put that on B. I ain't put it on B. Put it on. Put it on Fat Nasty Podcast. I put it on Big Nate. You know what I'm saying? I said she's the female Michael Jackson. I'm gonna run with that. What were you about to say? What was your story about to be? Mm. Well, my you remember Sanai, my daughter. So you remember she did her project. I brought the. She was calling him what? Uncle Jackson. Right? Yeah, she yeah. called him Michael Jackson. Uncle Jackson. Mm-hmm. We in Publix the other day. So it's a song playing on the on a, the, the live intercom shit. Yeah. We in there just chilling, getting ready. She's like, Daddy, that's Uncle Jackson? <laughs> and I'm like, my daughter is three years old, gang. Uh, Did her project we from? I'm like, yo, it fuck with me. Like, yo, what? She keeps saying, that's Uncle Jackson, Uncle Jackson. And I had to remember, like, this was your, his mic playing on the shit, son. Oh, I'm yeah. like, yo. That's crazy. That's crazy. I said, yo, the three, the, it that's fucked crazy. me up. Like, yeah. she heard his voice and was like, okay, we did a project. I remember y'all playing these songs. I noticed that, hey, one, two, three, and we in Publix, bro, and it's playing. She said, that's Uncle Jackson. Uncle Jackson, I keep saying, like, yo, what are you talking about? She's like, whose song is that? And I'm like, uh, oh, I'm like, I said, it's not Uncle Jackson. That's uh-huh. Michael Jackson. She's but, yes, that's definitely who that is, baby. Uncle Jackson. That nigga was a kid yeah. singing, singing grown. Yeah, that's it. Definitely, bro. That's, that's real shit. That's real shit. That's like, a, I'll be there. Listen to them fucking words. That's what I'm telling you. Just look over your shoulder. For a young nigga to be singing that shit, I'm talking about a kid. Be it's a kid, my nigga, singing to you. And it ain't even movies made like that and no more. grown man. women singing the man. Come on, man. Ain't nobody mm, got no Mike. shit oh, like that. Mike. Play me your shit when you was five or seven or eight or nine or ten or under 15. Yeah. That the whole world was singing like that, like Mike. You can't name a motherfucker. That's offending, mm. too. Name I don't think nobody one. else under the head. Nobody. I'm listening. Yeah, I don't think so. I, don't I think can't hear nobody. nobody. Yeah, I don't think we can name. I don't In the crowd. Name. This is the moment for the, the <laughs> producers. <laughs> Where the, pro- the cameraman? Where y'all? <laughs> y'all niggas quiet in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> God, hey, Joe, oh, we'll man. do it like that, man. God, I'm damn, just man. saying, I'm giving everybody the I'm opportunity. I'm glad because they be eating me up with that Beyonce. Yeah, that man, come Mike on, Jack man. is still taller than that. Good Beyonce shit. Beyonce was Big Mike. 15 and up. 
facts. And they was doing what they do. Yeah, you facts. can't take we'll away take what the them. Destiny Child did. Yeah, right. we'll they did they right, shit. Right, right, they right. represented that. Houston. They came out that motherfucker. We love Destiny Child. I love mm-hmm. Destiny Child, right, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got down. Listen, man. I fucked a lot of goddamn shit out of <laughs> Listen, man. I got a lot of money. It's, not, it's another nigga that'll get, man. He'll get his RB credit needed. <laughs> yeah, but man. I fuck with R. Kelly. That's my nigga. Oh, too. no. R. Kelly, a fucking beast. That's my nigga, man. I fuck with Kelly. He's gold. I would never watch the documentary. <laughs> Ever. Him or Mike shit, just because I don't even want to see that part of him. Because people did, at the Michael's they, they go talk about, oh, he got that with touching on little yeah, boys. And like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And like, I ain't bro. got nothing to do with that. I don't yeah. know that part. I, yeah. I, can't, I ain't see it. Right. Right. Yeah. I didn't witness it, so I don't know. I can't speak. See, I speak on what I know. No. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know old, what the fuck happened. You know, with at five year old, five or six, he had grown men singing, grown women singing every heart by That's heart. That's all I know. Right. Facts. I speak on the facts. My mama was singing Michael shit, and this nigga was a kid. Right. My aunties, my uncles, my granddaddies, my grandmamas, they were singing Michael shit as a kid. I don't know what the fuck he did as a grown man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that. That's real shit. I don't Shout know who Mike, fuck with man. Mike, Jack, Billy Jean, man. You know what I'm saying? You Shout don't know people, you, people personal shit, who they fuck with as a... Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Jack, don't, Jack, we don't Jack. know who Beyonce fuck with as a, as a, in the high school. Right. And that. Man, who they gives never, a we, fuck? We don't know. We'll never know the nigga. She's <laughs> a little girl. She's a fucking kid. Yeah, she right. gonna fuck with whoever she wanna fuck with. Right. What the fuck they got to do with her music? Right. Her music is amazing. Right. Mary J. Blige, her music is amazing. The way she got them tapped in to tell her story, certain producers like Puff, certain producers like Chucky Thompson, right. certain producers helped pull those stories out of her right. and tell their story, man. Right. You know, Mary Mary J. Blige to me one of the greatest. Right. Mary J. Blige do? don't get the credit she deserves. Bro, I'm gonna stand mm-hmm. right Meanwhile, <laughs> everybody want to got them Beyonce, 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 Beyonce. Yes, hey, Beyonce's yeah, number one. So if you put Beyonce me, number one, or if you put Beyonce number two, Mary's gonna be number one, or Mary's gonna be number two. Oh, right. But in the top five of our R&B women, Mary and Beyonce is in the conversation. Period. That's all he said. He ain't said that. Don't put it up. <laughs> yo, he ain't put it over though. Yo, drum, you talk about language. Hey man, he ain't put it over. Don't do that. Arguments. I'm a you Mary have to do J. This. I'll be I'm not. This is. I'm not, see, listen. This is. This is the same argument I hate. If you say that you like one, it means you hate the other. Nah, People but, like with LeBron. But I love both. Nah. That's what I'm saying. That's I love Beyonce. I, 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 I love both. You don't Mary. know. You don't I have you don't nothing you don't to love. take I away fuck, from well, either. I do like Beyonce too. I'm just saying. Like this was the question: is How we get to it? Because we say, yo, if we had to go, if we in the wheel, nigga had to pick an album to ride to. I'm riding the Mary. I'm riding the Mary. Yeah, but 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 that would be our that would be our argument. do because it'd be like. But 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 see. But, but for me, that'd be but, our argument, cuz don't do that. But, no, the, but the I argument said, for me is because I come from the street. Yeah. Right. I come from the struggle. You right. know what I'm saying? I come from a whole different. I come from Memphis, my nigga. So Mary helped us cope. Yeah. Um, like, I grew up on Mary. I can't cope to none with that's Destiny's the whole Child. No, I. See, hey, I ain't knocking you. Destiny's Child, you know, she helped women cope. Right. So if you really listen to the words and. You know what I'm saying? Listen to the Destiny Child record. It's more women who could cope to that. Right. My boy drama, man. What can a man cope to from man. Destiny's Child? No, I Name one that. record that you know Beyonce. the words. I ain't talking to. About uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about, about from, but I'm talking about from the beginning of Beyonce. You got to go to the roots of anything that you talk about. You got to go to the roots. What can you cope with? Okay. What can you cope with from Beyonce album as a man? What record really resonates as a man that helps nah, you be it's like, just good music. okay, ain't gonna to the left, good. to the left? No, hell no. <laughs> like, ain't none of the music going to resonate. What record are it's you going to listen music. to? I mean, none of, them, none of the music. That's just Crazy like, in Love, Her and Jay. Name one Beyonce record that helps a man cope with himself. Nah, I, I don't listen to it for it to cope for me, to cope for myself. You get what I'm saying? Mary yeah. gonna help you cope. How? You, what you, what you, because what? she taking you. What, you was you going down? Saying? Because she, you know, you was down. going down? She taking, oh, what? You, what? She taking you through <laughs> the motherfucking. You wasn't on that pack yeah. like that, man. You wasn't going down, man. <laughs> man. Nah, I just cut it out, man. Uh, you was not, man. You was, you, what, you said it's your man. child, but I was your uncle oh, doing that, man. Oh, you seen it firsthand. Okay, I see. That's how you can cope. I see my, I see, I see niggas, bitches kick them out too, to the left. To the left, though, act like you ain't never seen a bitch kick a nigga out. Nah, but that ain't kicking a nigga out. I'm about talking about helping a man cope or or, or understanding a woman. Mary J. Blige gave you. 
Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. I can't like that. Pass. Beyonce and them gave you happiness. No, they gave you some pain too. They nigga. gave Halo you uplifting and all that shit. That shit is... dope, nigga. Don't do that, I bro. I said it wasn't dope. Cause Cause like... I did. So that's what you. That's what. So that's what I'm saying. When we go to those conversations, y'all. If you don't like something that one, y'all make it sound like a nigga. The judge she did oh, with no, Bun B. The judge she did with Slim Thug. The judge she did. Woo woo woo. She popping her shit. She got down popping her shit like I don't need no nigga or woo woo woo. Or, hey man, I'm standing you know what on what I'm my. Saying? I'm standing on my joint. I'm good for what we talking about. I'm gonna tell y'all. Me, myself, and I, myself and I, Beyonce, probably the best. Yeah, R&B. So you gonna ride out to me, myself, and I before Mary J. Blige as a nigga? Who no? I listen to both of them. You know what I'm saying? I like music, so I, I don't have a problem with that. I can't relate. Hey, I can. Mary listen. J. Blige gonna give a nigga that pain, man. We come from that pain. We come from that struggle. All the pimp cities: Detroit, the Bay, <laughs> D.C., Memphis, Chicago, motherfucking. Man, y'all. So, so we sit here saying. Ain't no nigga that went through no struggle listen to Beyonce, so how the fuck she no, get this big? Nice. Girls listen to Destiny's Child and Beyonce more than men do. More men listen to Mary J. Blige. That's a fact. Man, some of these niggas don't even know who Mary J. Blige is. Some of these old young niggas. Niggas know who Beyonce is, y'all. Man. That's all I'm saying. More women know Beyonce than men. That's a fact. I, I don't mean we can put. We probably could do a pose. I don't believe that. We I can. Mean, we can do a pose. I, I, I guarantee you. I like do a that's pose. why she we got. Can that, we can put that up on Fat Nasty. We can put that up on Fat Nasty. Cause we ain't just gonna do be like that. G. I I she got the beehive. Stop she saying the, you fuck with the beehive. No, no, she hey, got the beehive. Hey, the whole. <laughs> so okay. okay. Do, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. The whole, the whole beehive. I really like the whole beehive consists of what? The whole beehive consists of what? Huh? Do, do any nigga? Oh, what, what happened? Do, do any it's men? It's a nigga back there. What you just said? Do any men in here? Huh? Do any men in here? Oh, okay. Hold on. Do me. any men in here consider themselves a part of the beehive? They, they part of the beehive. Nah, I ain't in no beehive. I ain't in none of that shit. I just name me. You. Name me one nigga. I ain't in none of that shit. I know. <laughs> that, I know. I know. I know. Ahead, I know, I know right ahead, now. Speak up. I know please. right now. I know right now. Mary J. Blige had a concert tonight. And if, if Beyonce would have had one, the motherfucking A would have been fucked up. Yeah, because it would have been full oh, okay. of fucking women it's and niggas, bitches. It's you would have went because of the hoes, nigga. I went. That's I the went. only reason you're going to the show is because of the hoes that's in there. I know. I've been there. You would have went because of the bitches that's in there. Oh, okay. That's all I'm saying. You weren't going for the music. <laughs> yeah, I do. I listen to her music, though. I just told you that. We I love Beyonce music. music, but uh-huh. you're not going to a Beyonce show because you want to hear all the good music. I do. Like, you looking at these <laughs> bitches Fierce in this motherfucker. Sasha Fierce is hard. Facts. Yeah, I got me fucked up. Sasha Fierce is hard. I'm going to yeah. Mary because I'm a goddamn yeah. relate, nigga. Well, you Mary that talking that shit to yeah. niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what's your motivation, man? What keep you motivated, man? What keep you going, man? Man, what Mary keep me J. going Rod. is death. Right. Death. And how these niggas unappreciate life. Mm. Yeah, that's real shit. That's Damn. what keep me going. You know what I'm saying? The CD young niggas are averaging 18 years of life, 19 <laughs> years of life, 20 years of life, 21 years of life. Mm. Man, I'm about to turn 40, my nigga. I've been in the game 25 years. Ain't no nigga can say they under 40. I'm 39. I'm under 40, been in the game 25 years and killing these niggas. Right. It ain't too many niggas that can say that. Hell nah. And been in the game consistently. Consistent. We just dropped Do It Again, Kevin the Gates. We hit. just dropped God New, K Michelle. Right. We got down, just dropped motherfucking, bro, Lil Papa, Mike Smith. Bro, I'm all over the place. I just signed five producers. I just signed three engineers. I just signed four artists. Niggas not fucking with me. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I look up to Russell Simmons, bro. He did it off one artist, LL Cool J. Damn. Niggas don't give LL Cool J enough credit. They don't. Where you nah. rate him and your rappers? Oh, he in my top How, why, why niggas don't put him in the top five? Who, that why? nigga goddamn put niggas to sleep. And nigga who wanted it with LL, he put them niggas to sleep. Top five we don't give LL five. his credit. I fuck with LL, but that five is real shit. So. <laughs> you ain't put him in your top five? No, no, but because they, everybody they, gonna go they, Biggie, they, Pac, Jay, Woo the Woo. Man, I fuck with Jay, but Jay got down re-rapping a lot of the other niggas shit. Yeah, it's different eras of shit, though. LL feel me? So was like, giving you I'm raw not mad, lyrics I'm not, I'm not from you, scratch. I'm not, I'm not mad at you hey, for hey, LL. Drum, I, LL love you, I love you for putting that. LL not cracking my finger. That nigga ain't going to hold. I fuck with LL. I ain't putting LL over hold, but LL in my top five. That's dope. Respectfully. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at niggas saying that. Give me your top five. Man, top five rappers. Yeah. I got to throw. Just, just what he did for me uh-huh. and my inspiration. Tupac. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's one. 
Ain't no Pacific I got to throw Biggie mm -hmm. just with the flyness, the fucking sensational mm -hmm. bars. Right. Man. Biggie for a big nigga to give you them bars and how he spitting that shit and just fly and play and still yeah. get more hoes than a nigga who in shape. Right, yeah. yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So Biggie so, yeah, is still Biggie, gonna take your Biggie whole still nigga. Relevant to this and world. Biggie didn't get enough work put in. We didn't get enough Biggie shit. content that's off, from that's Biggie. Two albums. That's off, like, off two, two albums, <laughs> Biggie yeah. gave you what he did and gave you <laughs> yeah. that. You know what I mean? You yeah. knew what Biggie was finna do. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Pop, Big, Big mm -hmm. Jay. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of Jay because I'm a hustler. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? I come mm -hmm. from the hustle. I come from turning a hundred into a million. Right. I did it. Mm. Say it again. You know what I'm saying? I so back. I come That's from that. I relate to Jay Z. Right, right. In a lot of different ways. I, I relate to his creative creativity and I also relate to his business sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And 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 companies that doubted you at first or didn't believe it you at first, and then you end up buying that shit. shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Bro, ain't nobody fucking with Jay moves. I think his business and his moves is bigger than his music. Mm. Mm. And that's why you see him making fifty million on the music, mm -hmm. but another nine hundred and fifty yeah, on business. investments right. and business tactics mm -hmm. and whatnot. Bro, you bringing two hundred thousand on title. You right. bringing in another two hundred thousand on Ace of Spades. Right. You bringing another two hundred thousand on all this other shit. Woo, woo, woo. You right. know what I mean? Those are things that you learn from business on the on, on, from Jay on the business exactly. level. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then I gotta throw in guys like uh, KRS One. Mm -hmm. Wu Tang, right? Them niggas, one nobody fucking with Wu Tang for me. You know what I'm saying? And, and just yeah. you know, I still put Nas as my number three, right? Just cause he was that player nigga, that fly nigga, still to get his Grammy at forty. Mm -hmm. You can count me out, but in my forties, I still goddamn became a billionaire. Right? Yeah. Jay in his forties, he became a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Puff in his forties, still became a billionaire. Fat Nash podcast in my forties, I'm the billionaire. Yeah, right. yeah, right. your forties. Niggas hit them 40s, that's why I got them pray for our young niggas, because for a nigga that average 18 years of life, 20 years of life, 21 years of life, 25 years of life, you don't even make it to your 40s. You never become that billionaire that you could have been. Grand you never learn era. that maturity These and that niggas. elevation that you could have had. They live in the Grand Theft Auto mm -hmm. era, man. I'm you know what I'm saying? Girls, that shit crazy. So I'm gonna throw Pop, Biggie, Nas mm -hmm. as my top three. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going LL Cool J. Okay. You know what I'm saying? As my number four. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Period. And then I'm going to throw Drake as my number five. Okay. Mm. Drizzy. Okay. Ain't nobody fucking with Drake. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Drake putting uh, niggas to sleep, bro. You're you not going to be as consistent as Drake, bro. Uh, Name one nigga that's that consistent thing. as Drake. Ola, and we Ola. love Kendrick. Kendrick will be my number six. Kendrick Lamar, I motherfucking love this nigga, but I be like, God damn, nigga. Like Drop some more shit, nigga. Right, right. Talk some more shit, nigga. Right. It's a lot of mother for every year. Like Cole there Drake, are man. uh Cold new shit with dirt there, fire too. Every yeah. year there are That's problems. Cold. There are things that we go through in life that we need somebody to speak on. That I feel like nobody could speak on it like Kendrick. Mm. And it's just an absence. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga snapped that last album. He opened up the whole world to some shit. It's an absence. I don't know if it's the label. I don't know if it's the connection. Woo, 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 da, da, da. But I feel like if Kendrick Lamar was independent and 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 had a, a different system, him. he would be able to drop more freely and he would be able to give us more music, man. And, and touch on. Another nigga who I put in my number seven is Andre 3000. Mm hmm. Where you at, bro? We miss you. <laughs> I fought with three two though. Bro. Cause he gonna motivate you and inspire you and somebody encourage said, you. Somebody said, somebody said, Andre three thousand nigga give us a single album by himself. He'll never do it. And the reason he ain't gonna do it cause it's his anticipation for what he do, what he given us on verses and feature tracks and shit. It's like you so good, like so nigga. His expectation for that single body of work is gonna be like. Hold on, it got to be what it got to be. Yeah. But, and, that, and that's the protocol like, with the label that's yeah, involved. Like, right. The like, videos, the budget, the da 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 da, yeah. the woo da woo da woo. -da. Like, it's so much shit involved where it's like, okay, you got to get this shit clear. You got to wait on this shit. You got these beats from this nigga. You got to. It's so much business involved. Like, that's why I fuck with Russell because he knew how to take care of the business. Yeah. Regardless, uh, Russ, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sense. That's why I come in. Yeah. I get shit clear. I'm going straight to DMG. Yeah. Deborah Man is gone to clearance. 
You know what I'm saying? I get this shit mixed and master. I'll put the money up. I'll put the project out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We need a hundred on this single. I'll put the money up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This and that. Same thing we did with Rocco. I'm gonna do me. Bam. Same thing we did with man. A lot of the projects, bro. Sometimes you gotta step up and be like, bro, you got the motherfucking voice. You got the talent. I'm gonna be the business behind it. Mm -hmm. And that's Russell. Good heart. LL couldn't have been LL without Russell. Mm -hmm. Puff couldn't have been Puff without Andre Herrera. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dr. Dre couldn't have been motherfucking Dr. Dre without Jimmy Iovine, nigga. Mm -hmm. Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? For you to walk away, imagine walking away from Death Row. All the shit that Dr. Dre did. Sure. Even before Death, Death Row. Death Row, yeah. in the boys. You no, know, yeah. we're Ruthless. Yeah, Ruthless yeah. Records, You know what I'm saying? Man. So, okay, yeah. you walk away from Ruthless after all you put in. Then yeah. you got them putting all that work with Death Row. Pop. Snoop, all that other shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, Ice Cube and NWA and all this shit. You gotta walk away from that nigga with nothing. Yeah. Jimmy Iovine gave you 50 million to say, huh? Start aftermath. Mm. You bounce back with 50. Eminem, we'll, we'll come. You know what I'm saying? And then you go into Beast by Dre, <laughs> and become a billionaire mm -hmm. after yeah. walking away from 50 to 100 million. Right. That you done put on the table over here at Death Row. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Dre don't get enough credit. That would be my number seventh rapper, man. I love Dr. Dre. People ghost reading for him, wrote his verses and this and that. But his delivery and his message, mm. most importantly, Snoop Dogg would be my number eight. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, one of my favorite rappers, my nigga. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Snoop. One of them niggas, bro. Niggas don't give Snoop enough hey, that credit. That nigga worldwide. Yeah, what? Snoop still. That would be one of my favorite niggas to ever kick with. If I can kick it with for a whole day, I probably want to kick it with Snoop. Uncle Snoop. Yeah, Straight up. You gonna have, man, you gonna have so much motherfucking fun, man. You already know it's gonna yeah, be yeah. crazy, man. It's gonna be crazy. But yeah, well, yeah. man, look, man, we appreciate you coming, man. We know you yeah, gotta. Man. We know you gotta make it at twelve, man. So we don't want to hold you up, man. But I appreciate yeah, you, man. This was a dope ass interview, yeah, man. Yeah, facts, man. We you know what I'm saying. It couldn't have got no better, man. We had one of the best in here, man. Good Come history on, lesson. Good history lesson, Come man. On, Glad man. to see you rocking MJB. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. We could talk about all this shit all night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We still got to throw in House of Fresh. Yeah. You know what oh, saying? yeah, the clothing yeah. clothing store. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, we went up. I got a lot of, you know, free clothes from Diddy. I got a lot of three-piece suits from Diddy. Oh, word. Uh -huh. I got a lot of free clothes from LRG. Shout out to Kevin Delaney. I got a lot of free clothes from Young and Reckless. Shout out to Drama. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Since 17, 18. Shout out to Tony Shellman. You know what I'm saying? One of the biggest. You know what I'm saying? We helped put Parrish on the map. Pelly Pelly. A lot of different clothing lines. I was getting free clothes all my life. Mm. And I was like, I'm bigger than a walking fucking billboard, dog. I'm bigger than this shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh -huh. ended up starting my own store. One of my first jobs was just for feet. Shout out to Arthur Sidney. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, that was like my first job, selling the Jordans, selling the Nikes, mm. you know, and learning how to put the socks with the sneaker cleaner, with the hat, with the outfit. Right. So you come in there looking for some Jordans, but I end up goddamn getting you to spend 800, 900. Mm. You spend 150 on the shoes, but you gotta get the outfit, you gotta get the sneaker cleaner, you gotta get the hat, you gotta get the T-shirt, you gotta put, you know what I'm saying? So that was like one of my first jobs, just for feet, you know what I mean? And I always been a, 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 a fan of the fashion, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, bro, I got to start my own clothing line. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? I started Fresh Family, you know what I'm saying? And I went through a lot of ups and downs with Fresh Family. Now we back up. And it was like. So you still got your building over there, shit, on Highville, so you ain't there, you doing good. Now we about to franchise. We're going to Miami. Oh, We're going to Dallas. Man. We're going to Vegas. We're going to LA. Okay. So stay tuned. House of Fresh, follow us on Instagram at House of Fresh ATL. But uh, it's become a bigger thing. You know what I mean? And just being able to deliver a purpose for people. Right. You know what I'm saying? And seeing happiness amongst people. When I say you outfit, or when I say you a beat. Right. Yeah. Or when I, you know, say you consultation right. and say, hey, these are the things that you need in your life that will elevate your business and your growth as a person. Right. You know what I mean? And being able to deliver for people. So, you know, doing consult uh, consultation, uh, being able to deliver clothing for people and styling for people. Shout out to my stylist, man, Harry, my store manager. You know what I'm saying? Getting everybody in line for whatever they need. 
uh, it, it, it's just a blessing, man. I'm here to serve my people. Mm. A lot of us as 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 African Americans, you know, we don't understand how to be servants. Mm. Everybody don't want to be bosses. No, 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 I'm too good to do this and I'm too good to do that. But the Asians come in, they touching your feet, they rubbing your feet, they massaging your body, they painting your toenails, they, you know, catering to whatever service you need. And us as African Americans, we got to get back into that, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mexicans, you know, a lot of people taking and putting in more work than we are. Listen. You know what I'm saying? They say they build a house before you will. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get When you go build a house or put up some sheetrock <laughs> or put some mud down or yes. put some concrete down or this or that, see how many niggas going to help you before them, them essays. Right. Work. That's real shit. You know what I'm saying? So just being able to be a servant, man. I'm I'm always a humble servant of the Lord and nothing to ever empower the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. That's hard. More than the Lord. What's the name of your podcast again too, man? Tell them about that. Beauty and the Beats. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me and Jessica Dime, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of good interviews. We interviewed uh Gangsta Boo, R.I.P. Chucky Thomas, R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? Jonte Austin. We just put, brought K. Michelle and Dime Peace back together. They was going through some things. We brought them together. Jo- uh, Jessica Dime Peace and, and, and Bam, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Scrap Wife. They was going through some things. We brought them together. That's hard. Bringing you know what I'm saying? Back together, so man. showing sisterhood right. to motivate our brotherhood. That's hard. Because, you know, niggas, we killing each other. Uh, yeah. Girls, they just fighting. They ain't killing each other, yeah. but they just fighting. Right. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. wish I would have been able to do this with Gotti and Dolph. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. my nigga Dolph. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, just trying to bring us together, man. Welcome to my city is a thing that I've done for my city and unifying my city. One of the first songs I did in 2002 was for Tila called Tennessee. When we first got the Tennessee Titans, mm-hmm. I put Haystack, Gangsta Boo, Yo Gotti, Tila, Criminal Man mm. and fucking Maru all on the same beat. Mm. You can go look it up now. Tennessee, Tila, Double Dose album. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've been unifying my city. Right. I've been bringing us together. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't a one motherfucking thing you can say to me about being on Dolph album and being on Gotti album. Right. I came up with Gotti. Mm. Gotti empowered me. Right. So it's a, it's a, loyalty that I have with God. Mm-hmm. But then I help bring out Young Dolph. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of fucking moments and things that I expired throughout my time period that put me in a different p- position through Dolph that I'm loyal to. Mm-hmm. So it's nothing you can take away from either of oh. these niggas with me. Right. Yeah. So ain't nothing now nigga can say to me about now one of the I'm on the Art of Hustle, and I'm on the King of Memphis. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm on motherfucking Thug Motivation 101, and I'm on goddamn Will Chamberlain, mm-hmm. and I'm on Bird Print 2 mm. and 3, and what, man, ain't nothing you can say to me about working mm-hmm. with Gucci and Jeezy. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of the few niggas that can do that shit, bro. I ain't came now one of you, and nobody can say nothing. That's real. Mm-hmm. That's hard. That's dope, actually. That's dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And my, I'm a pioneer for bringing us together. When I seen Goo Wop and Jeezy in the same club after that verses that night, mm-hmm. niggas would be like, man, why you wasn't at the verses, nigga, where you was at? Nigga, what the fuck I look like? What side I'm going to pick? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These both my niggas. If, they, if them niggas didn't call me to referee that shit, nigga, I'm not there. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Jeezy hit me. Gucci hit me. Man, I'm not finna stand on now one of y'all niggas' side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not finna do, you can't do that to me. Yeah, right, that's yeah real. that narrative. I watch this shit from TV. I watch this shit from my iPhone, nigga, because I love y'all niggas. I support both of y'all niggas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all niggas, my nigga. Both of y'all niggas real in my eyes. Right. It's just different standards. Right. Mm-hmm. One nigga got these principles. One nigga got these principles. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To see them in the club at the same time that night, I just prayed and wished that that could happen for God and Dolph. Next thing you know, they took my nigga out. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. on Dolph. Right. Yeah. R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? Fact. That's real. That's real. So you know, I'm 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 here to see us grow. I'm I'm here to see us elevate. I'm the voice that's gonna help us motivate. You know what I'm saying? I'm the spirit 
that's gonna put into the music what I've been through. Right. And help paint that picture. We painted a picture from Trap. Trap was a location, my nigga. Mm -hmm. When I called him Big Bro, hey, where you at, Big Bro? Didn't nobody know about Dodgers Chicken in Memphis? Mm -hmm. Other than the locals. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, I'm behind the Dodgers Chicken store. Didn't nobody know about this shit behind the Dodgers Chicken store. Off Elvis Presley was the trap, nigga. Mm -hmm. When man, this before GPS, this before man dropping a load, nigga. You couldn't drop no location, nigga. You ain't had no GPS. You ain't man, nigga ain't had no directions, nigga. You knew where this shit was at exactly. or you didn't. Right. Yeah. That's real shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's where I come from. And man, just being from a certain cloth, ain't nothing you can take away from that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I stand on what I stand on, and that's why niggas fuck with me. That's, That's right. why the streets, whether it's Detroit, Chicago, the Bay, man, New Orleans, Memphis, D.C., New York, Miami, oh, man, wherever you from, man, we go to London. Oh, you from Memphis? Oh, my God. Da, 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 da. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm in motherfucking Switzerland. I'm in Germany. I'm in Russia. I'm in Amsterdam. I'm in Japan. I'm in Asia. I'm in all these different places. Oh, you from Memphis? That shit just, it's like motherfucker. oh, shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers right. tap in and right. pay their respect. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, you know, just being able to use that platform in a positive way to motivate and inspire and say, bro, appreciate your life, my nigga. Right. We got to stop throwing our lives away. Right. So, yeah, that's man, that's oh, the real motivation in the world right oh, there. God. So that's that's my biggest message while I'm on this motherfucker, man. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Fat right. nasty, man. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah, we can talk did. about some food while we on this motherfucker, too. We talked about the barbecue uh -huh. out here in Atlanta. We eat a lot of good food. We stay on our, our, our health and wealth. Man, shout out to uh, Mr. Shut Up and Train. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to get in the gym, burn your calories, put that work in, and stay healthy, man. You know what I'm saying? We praying for Jamie Foxx. Yeah. They say he been at home long. Yeah, we I just know. seen that. They say yeah. he been at home long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, shout out to Jamie. Guys like that, man, it's like, you know, we yeah. rooting for and praying rooting for. Him. That's real shit. That's real shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, you health is wealth. That's hell. That's hard. That's hard. Well, you already know, man. This Fat Nasty Podcast, man. That's I'm right. For the belly game, boys. Let me put my belly on your butt, you We signing hey. out, man. <laughs>